Well, I have some bad news for you guys. If you're thinking about using these little guys, because they are currently not allowing, look, nothing, nothing on that screen. They are uh, limiting withdrawals. Now the question is why? Well, I'm glad that you guys asked why. So I, being the investigative journalist I am, I am on location in Nigeria trying to figure out uh, what the heck that is. But they have stopped. Why have they stopped? Well, that's because uh, there's this thing called a CBDC. I'm actually looking for a zebra. I, I do not see my zebra. So let's dive into my computer and find out what the shenanigans are going on. And this was actually a bro. Oh, did you guys click subscribe? Well, thank you for that one. We have a breaking banner. Yes. Tell us more, uh, CNBC. SEC, see this falls in line with everything, issues new guidance requiring companies to disclose digital currency risks. Yes, you shouldn't use anything digitally unless it's done by the government because then there is risk. Look what just happened to FTX. Guys, the government has your back, but here, here it starts. This is uh, where, the, here is the test grounds. Nigeria, Nigeria caps ATM cash withdrawals at 45 bucks daily to do what? Yep, push digital payments. And here's the central banks. Isn't that nice that, uh, that they get to be in charge of everything? Central banks ask residents, that would be you and I, uh, to use their new e-money, right? Which uh, is, is nothing like Bitcoin. It's com completely different. This comes with, it's kind of like Bitcoin mixed with Ethereum, mixed with complete control, where they control everything you do, buy, spend, when to spend, when not to spend. Is that green? That's not green. You can't spend it there, but you can spend it right now and hurry up. Oh, time's up. But their e-money and other channels. Uh, the nation seeks to drive Financial inclusion, oh, that's a key word because we got to have financial inclusion and curb corruption because look, look what look what happened to FTX when you decide to be an idiot and put all your money onto an exchange uh, where they have your private keys. Probably not a good idea. It looks like Nigeria's central bank. Oh, by the way, I have other bad stories for you. Uh, and we have charts. So stick, uh, stick with me on this one. Good charts. Uh, Nigeria's central bank slashed the daily withdrawal limit from automatic teller machines in a bid to boost digital payments in Africa's most populous nation. And guys, don't let this uh, be a shocker to you. Um, you're gonna have Bitcoin and, well, you're not gonna have Bitcoin, you have Bitcoin. And then uh, you have altcoins. See, I I'm a big Bitcoin, uh, well, fan. Well, just not a fan boy, but uh, I like that one. There's no CEO, there's nothing. It's just you and I, and we trade the little digits and it's up to you on how much uh, you wanna put a value on those digits. What's gonna happen is you have Bitcoin and then you have altcoins. Um, altcoins with CEOs or altcoins that are inflationary rather than deflationary. I think the government's gonna come down on all those little corporations. They, they can look at them in, in different ways. You know what, um, that's actually a security. So we're gonna look at it this way. Bitcoin, no, not so much. SEC issues new guidance requiring companies to disclose digital currency risks. Now that's gonna be crazy when you guys are like trying to trade this stuff and the SEC is saying, no, you can't. You, you, you can't use it for this. You can't use it for that because look what happened to FTX. Well, we can't, we can't allow that to happen to humans. Also, for those of you that are wondering, wait, what is, uh, isn't everything always already digital? Uh, yes and no, this is just, completely different. So we have now the the central banks that want you to use their digital currency, okay? Us over here in America, we have uh, the Federal Reserve right here. It's called FedNow. And I know they said they're just kind of looking at thinking about thinking about looking about creating something. The truth is it's coming in July. So you got about six or seven months left. Uh, they've, they've, they've already launched it. They've tested it. They've tried it, they're implementing it, and then it goes completely 100% in the next six to seven months. Well, that is unless uh, the system crashes prior to then, uh, creating a complete emergency where the, the people are like, we, we have to have this now. And they're gonna do the little emergency and, and you gotta have it, you gotta do it. Nigeria's rolling it out, this is it. 
they're going to limit uh, the amount that you can take out, and, and I'm sure the, the people are in an uproar. Yeah, usually never. Also, my question is, why are you guys leaving so much money in, well, maybe you do or don't, I don't know, but the money that you have in your savings account, why? You're not getting interest on or your checking account. You need to always be moving your cheddar here from uh, Wall Street Journal. For the, this is what your bank, the banks are making off of you. The $42 billion question, why aren't Americans, you, uh, ditching big banks? Big banks still pay next to nothing, zero, on savings, checking, but their customers aren't uh, yet moving much money to higher yielding alternatives. Now, I'm not saying go, you know, throw it on an altcoin that, that you know, allegedly uh, pays you 17%. What I am saying is you might want to call up your bank. I don't care what Chase, uh, B of A, whatever bank you're at and saying, hey, you know what, uh, instead of, I mean, CDs, I think some CDs are paying two or 3%. Uh, if you buy a one year, uh, one year government bond, the yield is almost at, look, like I can't, I can't touch it, but it's up there, almost 5%. By looking at this chart, I'm not showing this thing going much higher. I, I think, I think it has hit a wall. I, I, and look, two year, this is crazy, I already rolled over. 4.3%. This is called a yield curve inversion. This, this basically means that the whole world is going to burn. Not yet. The 10-year is at 3.4. Opposite direction. It's also a double top. Also, this is a head and shoulders pattern already playing out along with the 30-year, uh, which had a double top. That's it. Coming back down. Probably is going to test about 3%. So if you're wondering why I know it's the top, because that would be a charting pattern. That would actually also be found in, well, my swing trading course, that's my bigger beginner's course, and then my uh, more advanced course, that would be my bear market course. Do you see this? This is actually, we're, we're actually moving into the S&P 500. You have a crossover on the MACD, so I, can, I can't guarantee anything, but I'm telling you there is a high probability that your lovely S&P is going to move lower. So you may want to consider taking some of your cheddar off the table. You also hit your uh, head on the 200, which I said, your 200 up there, that's that white line. You get underneath that, see? For the most part, you start struggling in a bear market. This is like you're under the 200 week, you're under the 200 day. 200 day signifies we are in trouble. Uh, we have a wedge. Do you see the rising wedge here? Breaks down. Same thing, rising wedge here. It looks, I mean, almost identical. I showed you yesterday, your price target, you measure this all the way to here. And when you break, your price target's about 367. This is actually also in my bear market watch list that I just launched a few weeks ago. If you are interested in finding out what I trade, well, that would be link in the description also. And if you cannot find the description, you should not be trading. I know as much as you know, it's tough out there. So you're going to have to do what is happening here. What is this? Well, this is, looks like a guy uh, shopping for something. It looks maybe, are those socks? No, that is a blanket. Um, no, that would not be it. It would be starting businesses. Learn how to sell blankets. Learn how to st uh, start companies like Walmart. It's probably a tough run. I, I don't know if I would uh, recommend trying to start a, a brick and mortar. Actually, I would I would tell you not to. <laughs> oh, how's the uh, breaking banner? Uh, CMB or S&P 500 closes higher to the end, longest losing streak since October, congratulations. The computers are still turned on, it is sell mode. I'll get to that in a second, those are your CTAs. But there's a slowdown happening, Wells Fargo, B of A, CEO points to cooling consumer amid Fed rate hikes. Oh, and just in case you wanted to know what CTA stands for, Commodity Trading Advisor. So that is where the, and I have, Actually, I think I put this one in the course too. Um, if you look right here, CTA, uh, Algo Buy Zone, if you make it above, so if we gotta, gotta get 420, it's always four, four, 4282, 4282. That is where the computers are rip roaring, turn on, let's go. Right now you have, uh, it hits y y that orange line right here, you're hitting that one, that is a resistance, smacked your head on that one, smacked your head on the 200, uh, and smacked your, well, you're, you're out of the uh, the rising wedge, which is going to break down 
hitting the CTA dump zone, this is billions a day. Billions, billions, billions. 10, 20, 30 billion dollars a day. It just started to turn on. Wait until you cross 3,816. Then we will head quickly lower to the next orange line. I am not the only one who's reporting this. Uh, a lot of financial advisors pay lots of money to find out when the computers turn on and when they turn off. It's a proprietary stuff that we all have to pay for. We just can't share it on our screen, but I'm telling you wh where it's at. And now the article says, and now CTA sellers, I'm sorry, CTAs are sellers. That'd be the sell button. So all you retail, let's try not to fight the CTAs. Here's how ugly it could get. And actually, this article even said what I was saying with this whole Santa Claus rally, everything December. December is the month to remember. This is where all the, everyone has to buy, buy or sell, put, put in your orders now for next year. I mean, it could roll into next year, but this is, uh, this is definitely your heavy hitting. Uh, we wrote that in 2022, year-end rally would be driven by what? Uh, 5 billion in CTA buying and 10 billion in buybacks every single day happening right now. Oh, and as the article says, the net buying of CTAs in such a very short time frame, three weeks from November 9th to December 1st, was one of the largest on record. You haven't seen the largest on record uh, downturn yet, but now that stocks have once again resumed their downward slide, if only for a few days, what happens next? Well, I'll tell you, it's gonna be a very ugly, 2023. Even though I'm pretty sure today I'm going to get trolled because we had an update today. Congratulations. Uh, S&P 500 closes higher to end the longest losing streak. Now you're like, look, the market went up today. So do not be tricked into next year also because everyone thinks, well, definitely retail. Once the Fed pivots, I'm going all in. I've showed you in the charts. I'll just show you one more time and then I don't ever want to show you again. The Fed's gonna pivot, but prior to them pivoting, what's gonna happen is everyone's gonna front run the Fed again. That's what happens in the bond market. That's what happens in the equity market. That's just what happens all over. We like to kind of make money in between. Some people like to call it arbitrage, but it's that little sweet spot, you know, like when you swing trade. I would recommend you learn how to do it. There's just a spot above the Bravo 9. You jump in, you get out uh, when it crosses the Bravo 9, as long as you have momentum, and you take your next bunt. You just do this over and over. And yeah, I'm sorry, it's not, let's go for home runs. That's just not how I trade. I am risk averse. I, I like uh, just as Albert Einstein's greatest invention known to mankind is called compound interest. I just take those little bunts and then I put them in the account and I just let them keep compounding. You do that over, uh, well, you do a penny uh, over 31 days. I don't know, double a penny over 31 days. I don't know what you're at but it's more money than you'll ever be able to count or that I'll ever be able to make. But retail traders think stocks will bottom in 2023 and they plan to load up. That what, that's what you guys are doing, loading up on big tech. Survey says, thank you, Ryan. So uh, make sure that you guys go against the herd. That would also be known as contrarian. Just do what's opposite. So when they tell you to do one thing uh, in school, Go, go, to, go to college, kids, get into lots of debt, and uh, good luck ever getting yourself out of it. You should probably do the opposite and start a business, right? Just, sorry, I, I taught it for, I don't know, 20-something years. Looking at, at this right here, uh, Fed policy pivots and bear markets. See the black line? That would be your dump. Uh, well, actually, that's the stock market. You haven't seen the dump yet. And every time the Fed pivots, the market rallies prior to pivot and then dumps 17, 36, 48, 27, 15, 51%, 58%, and 35%. And probably looking at about 50% on this next dump, but do not, uh, don't mark those words, just trade the charts in front of you. Is it me or do, it's kind of fun trading. I love trading. So take advantage of whatever, you know, holiday special I'm running down below. I'm, learn how to swing trade, then learn how to trade in a bear market. And for my dudes out there or dudettes that uh, like video games, it's actually it's kind of fun. But instead of uh, the digits being bigger, it's actually digits in your bank account that are bigger. But this is, it can't be because it's just paper trading. So the, the digits in your paper trading account will get bigger. So take advantage of whatever I have to offer. And then you can see what I'm doing in my uh, well, Bravo's every day I work for the rest of my life watch list. And I will see you tomorrow.